So guys, welcome to the third video of exploratory data analysis using Haverman dataset series. So guys, in this video, we will discuss on the box plot and the violin plot of univariate analysis. So let's move through the plot. Okay, guys. Simply here we are, we are using the Seaborn library and we simply are, we are using box plot function. Okay, uh, with x uh, axis as survival status and y axis as age, and we are plotting the data known as Haverman. Okay, which is our pandas, which is stored in our pandas data frame. Okay, so we are simply using read function. Title is box plot using feature age, and simply we are showing the plot. Now, as we see the plot, okay, uh, it is clear from the plot. Okay, it is more than clear from the plot that almost ninety-five percent of data points are overlapping with one another. So we are so guys, let's see what the box plot is all about. Okay, let's see. It is fifty percent is quantile. It is 25% is quantile, it is 75% quantile. What? 25%, 50%, and 75% quantile. So, what it is showing us is that around 95% of data points are overlapping with almost one median. Okay, as you can see here, almost both of them have particularly the same median. Hence, the age feature is uh, not clear, not sufficient uh, to find out uh, the exact scenario. Now, let's look at the box plot using operation here uh, in the same way now here in this case as we can see here around uh, they are quite more overlapping but we can see there's only the gap of uh, around 20 uh, percent which is not overlapping and almost 80 percent of data points are still overlapping here with almost the same median you can see the median value here and the median value here they are almost uh, overlapping with one another so Obviously, operation feature is also not sufficient here to find out the exact scenario. Now, let's look at the action nodes. The action nodes have definitely have some scenario here. As we can see here, they don't have the same median. Okay, it is observed that the plot of class 1, this is which class 1 is all about. The class 1 have outliers. You can see there are outliers here. And also visible that around 50% of patient having action node uh, less than or equal like 50 percent of uh, patient have action note less than or equals to three so what it is showing us okay let's see we can see here around 50 percent okay this is a median part okay this is 25 percent this is 50 percent and uh, this is 75 percent so as we can see here the median part here lies here i think okay it lies here so here clearly definitely you can see that uh, 50% of patients have axial node uh, less than or equal to 3. This is almost uh, equal to 3. Okay. This is almost equal to 3. Yeah. So, this is what the conclusion we are getting from the box plot. Nothing so interesting plot that uh, we know that data science is all about experiments. So, we will try different plots to get different results. Okay. That's what EDA is all about. Now, let's look at the violin plot. Here, we are again using the violin function with x axis as survival status, y axis as age, and we are using the data known as Haverman data frame. Now, we are still using the grid function, the title function, and the soap function as usual. Now, again here, as you can see, this is the 25%, this is the 50%, 25%, and 75% quantile. Okay. Now, again, we can see this, uh, this is a highly overlapping plot between class 1 and the class 2. So, it, it is also not sufficient in this case to interpret. Now again, as you see, the feature operation here, operation here along, along y-axis and several states along x-axis. Uh, this is 25%, this is 25%, this is 50%, and this is 75% quantile. Again, we can see that there is a great overlapping among these uh, uh, two classes, classes 1 and class 2, which is around 90%. So obviously, operation here is still not sufficient to interpret. Okay. Now, let's look at this following plot again, uh, obviously, let's look at the feature known as axial node, okay. So, what it is showing us in this plot is that survival, the survive patient have axial node equal to 0, yeah. It is more than clear that we have the median value at 0, so definitely the survive patient have axial node equal to 0, that is far more than clear. And it is also showing that the patient who died, the patient who died have axial node greater than or equal to 1 as the concentration of axial node increases the respective patient is more likely to die so that's what the given plot is saying so it's far more than clear that the axial node feature is far more important to interpret something 
as we look at our box plot and the volume plot respectively so guys i think this is end of our univariate analysis so till now what we have done is that let me recap what we have done till now okay so yeah let me move uh, to the beginning part okay yes for well, in the beginning part we look at the high level statistics okay where we import the libraries where we saw the shape of our data set okay then we define the objective of the data of our particular analysis this is what it this for the second part and meanwhile in the third part we did our univariate analysis where we look at the pdf plot okay and we got different conclusions we look at the cdf plot we look at, like and we got different conclusions again and meanwhile we look at the box plot okay and we got different conclusions again and finally we look at the volume plot and eventually we got different conclusions for it as well now in the next video we will uh, conclude our exploratory analysis using bivariate analysis which is the second part okay after univariate analysis okay so see you guys in the next video if you guys have any doubts till now you guys can leave your doubts in the comment section below i will be more than happy to solve your queries love you guys see you in the next video.